Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. I wanted to hurry and do a little stock market recap of what happened today in the market and what we're kind of seeing uh, in after hours movement right now. And then I also kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about my strategy that I had mentioned in my video yesterday of how I'm kind of planning on playing this market uh, as we have been having a little bit of pain, especially for the last few weeks and especially the, the beginning of this week, uh, mostly, you know, we've been having a lot of pain over the last few days. And so yeah, let's just dive right in that. So the beginning of the morning today, we saw stocks continue to fall and we a lot of people were thinking that we're going to continue to see this crazy amount of pain you know we had stocks falling five to ten percent this morning on on a lot of my favorite stocks especially tech stocks and you know what actually wound up happening is they went down and a lot of them hit floors or different support levels and wound up actually bouncing back up to where they opened up at. not all of them uh went back up to where they opened up at, uh but a lot of them wound up doing that and as throughout the day we kind of just traded sideways from there and towards the end of the day we wound up with about you know 50 percent of these stocks being positive and another 50 percent of them being uh negative so it was kind of a mixed bag into the close as far as you know how things ended um, but one thing that I wanted to mention that I noticed myself is uh, that we had Microsoft, Google, Apple, these big mega caps, right? That a lot of people actually kind of use as a cash play instead of holding cash in their account. They'll buy these mega caps that are, are relatively stable and have a really good upward trajectory trend. So a lot of people just like to store cash in there instead of actually holding cash. Well, those wound up actually declining pretty substantially towards the end of the session. And so to me, I, I'm thinking, well, why would people be selling those at the very end of the session? Well, maybe they're wanting to get some cash out. And now that we're in the after hours, we're seeing after hours start ticking up and actually being fairly green on quite a few stocks. So maybe this is the indication that, hey, people are taking cash out, they're getting ready to buy the dip tomorrow, and maybe tomorrow will be green. Maybe it's gonna be the same as today though too. We might just wind up opening a little bit green in the morning and crashing right back down just like we saw this morning. You never know. But it's just an observation I wanted to mention that I saw today at the very end of the session. And now with that, I kind of want to go into again talking about my strategy that I outlined a little bit yesterday. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, that's fine. Let me hurry and outline that for you. So my strategy is that I'm not really wanting to sell any of my current positions and, and sell any of my current holdings. Instead, I'm gonna hold all those and any pain that does happen to those stocks happens. And I'm, I'm willing to absorb that loss and I'm, I'm not gonna sell anything, so it's just a paper loss for right now. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to just be trying to make as much money as I can uh, through my job or any extra money that I may be having savings that isn't in my brokerage, start transferring that money over and buying stocks. And I actually started kind of doing that this morning in the dip. I, I wound up buying a Enphase, a firm, and a SoFi, a couple of my favorite companies that I really love investing in. I wound up buying some more today I didn't blow all my cash today, of course, but I, I bought some more. But anyway, I, I suggest that we just start raising cash. And that way, if these stocks continue to fall, then we have the opportunity to buy them at these lower levels while they're on sale, right? And we're not affecting the amount of, of stock that we hold in the past. That way, if they start to recover, then you know, you're know you gonna be able to start to have those old stocks that were down substantially on your old shares start to come back up with you. And while you're buying these shares right now, you're actually lowering your cost average. So you'll wind up recovering faster on your way out of this dip. And you know, it, I think it's just a really good way to play it because in this market, it's so dang finicky right now. You know, we, we go down one day and then the next day, you know, we have a bounce and maybe it was a dead cat bounce. And so we go back down and it seems like we're just doing a lot of that back and forth ping pong, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, up green, red, green, red, green, red, right? And so instead of trying to time the market, instead of trying to play it, just keep your shares, or at least I'm just keeping my shares and I'm just gonna go buy things when they're on sale. And if I'm getting a good deal, then I'm happy. You know what I mean? And then that way, when it, when it recovers, like I said, you get to be recovered a little bit faster than everybody. And truthfully, if we keep on having pain, it's kind of a good thing. Like, it's not a good thing as far as watching your account go negative and negative and negative, but a lot of these companies, they, they are high valuation right now. We've been getting pretty, pretty high up there, especially towards the end of the year. And, uh, it's actually nice to finally be able to go out and buy some of these companies at a, a more reasonable level and be able to add to, to your share count without feeling like you're buying a company at outrageous valuations. So, so anyway, guys, that's basically a recap of what happened in the stock market today. As a recap of kind of what my plan is as far as playing this market goes, and uh, I'm, that's exactly what I'm gonna keep on doing. If tomorrow's red again, I'm gonna buy some more. If it's green tomorrow, I might wait it out to see what happens. I, you know, it just... 
it's kind of a day-by-day -day, uh, scenario as far as whether to buy uh, that day. But one thing's for dang sure, I ain't selling my stock and uh, nobody's gonna get my shares. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this uh, market uh, update video today, I, I really would appreciate a like and a, and a subscribe down below. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep on doing these kind of like market update videos every day, uh, little truck vlog style things because I don't really have time every day to record a full on video in the studio, go through and edit it really precisely like I do on, on some of my other content. But I feel like a lot of people would enjoy to have a little bit of an update every day on the market on what's going on in stocks and everything like that and maybe hear some of my opinions on how I'm gonna be playing things. So I'm probably gonna continue um, probably going to continue doing these types of videos uh, for, for market updates every day. Uh, so if you guys are interested in seeing more of that in the future, then make sure you all subscribe to see more of that. And then uh, of course, like we always talk about, we do crypto, real estate, and stocks on this channel. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you subscribe down below. All right, guys, you have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.